the Marshall, also referred to as the PVOM, uh, is a newly described entity um, that had been previously referred to as a small persistent left SVC. So it, it's a relevant difference uh, for the implanting physician. So on the left, we have a small persistent left SVC um, where you have a normal CS os. The vein of Marshall um, connects to the coronary sinus at mid CS right near Fusen's valve. So when you have the vein of Marshall connecting like this, we refer to it as a persistent left SVC. On the other hand, uh, on the right side, where you have CS atresia, um, you still have a vein of Marshall connecting the subclavian uh, to the coronary sinus in the same general area near Vucin's valve, but this time the blood flow uh, is from the coronary sinus up into the left subclavian because of the CS atresia. And obviously, uh, their clinical presentation is dramatically different. Um, when you have a persistent left SVC, the coronary sinus is either, in this case, normal because the vein of or because the persistent left SVC is very small, uh, or it's very large, depending on the, depending on how much blood flow comes down. The vein of Marshall um, into uh, the coronary sinus. On the other side here, depending on the degree of CS atresia, uh, will determine uh, the size of the patent vein of Marshall. So just to give you the videos for this, this is a case where uh, the CS was easily engaged and we noticed that there was a small persistent left SVC connecting uh, to the left subclavian. And that looks very similar to the situation uh, where you have CS atresia and you find this patent vein of Marshall. Embryologically, it's very, they're part of the same uh, embryologic sequence, but one, uh, the blood flow goes from the left subclavian to the coronary sinus. And in the other situation, the blood flow goes from uh, the coronary sinus uh, to the left subclavian. Hope you find this useful.